Well, it's not just the first teams and the match that are at the center of attention in Bangkok. Both clubs have flown down their legends and are also engaging in community activities across the city. Our sports editor, Dick Vijay Singh Deo, caught up with Liverpool Foundation CEO Matt Parrish at an event on the outskirts of the city. We're building up to Liverpool versus Manchester United. A very special guest here with me. Matt Parrish is the CEO of the LFC Foundation. Uh, it's been a couple of years since you've come out on these pre-season tours. You're in Asia after a long time and especially after the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, just how excited or delighted were you by seeing the crowds which were there to meet uh, the team? Uh, this just shows the power of the club, the power of the Premier League. Yeah, I mean, I've been told to expect uh, lots of lots of people and lots of fans. Um, I've been I've been fortunate enough to go on a few trips with Liverpool. Um, my first one was to Ireland and then to America, but this is my first first uh, time to this part of the world, and it was uh, it's amazing, you know. And I think I think you hit the nail on the head that this club has got. Uh, yes, we've got a, a scouse heart, and you know our home is in Liverpool, but we've got a, a global pulse and. There's, you know, the supporters here feel that as, you know, as keenly as anyone. Um, there's been fans outside the, the team hotel, I think, since since the minute they arrived. So the passion is is amazing. I'm looking forward to seeing it in the stadium tomorrow as well. Being a global club doesn't just uh, translate to results on the pitch. There's so much more you do off the pitch, like we're seeing right here with these with these young kids. Just tell us a bit more about the work you all do, because I was going through your list of trustees. Even the owners and the representatives are on there with you. Yeah, I mean we're incredibly fortunate. We've got the club club chief exec Billy Hogan has just been just been down to this session. Um, he's our vice chair of trustees. We've got Tom Warner, Tom Werner and Linda Henry are both trustees. Um, you know, as, as well as local independents. And I think you're right. We've got we've got a responsibility to deliver in the community around Liverpool. Um, some of the communities in the Liverpool City region are the most deprived in the UK. But ultimately, we are a global club. We shouldn't be ashamed of that. It's one of our unique points you know you, you've been to Anfield yourself you've seen the diversity of the, of the fans there it's, it's amazing it's, it's a special thing so when what the club are passionate about whenever they go on tour the, the foundation always goes we deliver as part of that tour what's really special for us here in, in Bangkok is that we as you said we've got an existing program here with our charity global charity partner Right to Play that's about working in some of the most disadvantaged communities around the world um, currently in Bangkok, we're looking to be working in Senegal and Tanzania soon too, um, and hopefully more countries over the coming years. And that, uh, um, we, we work with them, they, we trust them because they share our values of using sport and play to uplift young people and help them realise their potential. And when you talk about the work the foundation does, were the last two years especially tough on all of y'all? Because the pandemic just came from nowhere and affected a lot of things. We, we look at the first team playing at Anfield without crowds, but there was so much more which was uh, which was troubling people around the world. People, you know, associated with the club, they were all going through tough times. Yeah, and I think that showed the uh, that showed the spirit of the you know the, the banner that flies in the cop was unity, strength, and I think that the, that Liverpool FC family, you know, that you know, football's nothing without supporters, is it? And to, to Anfield to be empty, I think that probably impacted on us more than many other clubs. Um, but I think the fans came together. Uh, an example being, you alluded to it, I think the, the UK went into lockdown mid-March 2020. Our Legends game against Barcelona was scheduled to, at the end of that month and was sold out. So because that didn't happen and was postponed, uh, some of the fans who had bought tickets for that game donated that money to us. And on the back of that, we were able to donate uh, during COVID about £340,000 to food poverty in North Liverpool. So that's what Liverpool fans do best. They come together, they support each other. They're, you know, they're part of the same family. The Norway OLSC on their own raised about uh, £90,000 for food poverty in Liverpool. You know, that's amazing. We were all going through it, weren't we? Uh, supporters around the world, but everyone around the world. So we, we worked with the OLSCs globally on something called This Means More, which was them coming together and delivering activities in their own community. For, um, and that was literally global. I think we had 90 OLSCs sign up, 60 took part in activities over a weekend. So I think that that's why we're a unique club um, that wherever you go in the world there's, there's Liverpool Football Club supporters in there so it's a and it's a common language um, it doesn't matter if you're from Anfield or Bangkok it, you know the passion's no different so and, and again that's why we're so lucky we get to use that and that LFC family to hopefully make a positive difference Yes and hopefully everyone who's here for the game on uh, on Tuesday is entertained but uh, as you said with the pandemic a lot of restrictions thankfully we can have this conversation yeah, face to face yeah, without yeah. the masks thank you Matt for your time and hopefully you do continue the good work
Thank you. No, thanks for having us. And uh, yeah, let's look forward to a good game tomorrow. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.